Poor baby Harry got his feelings hurt because the critics said that Meghan was going to leave him. Harry, maybe you need to grow a pair because critics were simply stating the obvious. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the King YouTube channel. I mean, basically, since the time Harry and Meghan walked down the aisle, divorce rumors have been rife. In fact, I'm trying to think of a time when we didn't hear that Meghan and Harry were headed for divorce, and I'm having a lot of trouble coming up with such a time. This marriage has been ill-fated from the very beginning. It has been doomed from the start. Harry's family members and close friends famously tried to warn him to take his time with this divorcee from America, this washed-up actress. They knew she was trouble. He didn't listen to advice, though. He insisted on marrying her. And, well, just look at what has happened since then. Look, to be fair, I'm sure a lot of these rumors about Harry and Meghan being headed for divorce have a bit of wishful thinking involved. But anyway, it's not like people are just making stuff up. We see that Harry looks miserable whenever he is with Meghan. We see that Meghan controls him like he's her puppet. It's not a healthy marriage. But according to this article in The Mirror, Prince Harry is furious over divorce rumors amid shocking claims that Meghan doesn't need him. <laughs> So Graydon Carter, he's the one who made these claims. Graydon Carter is the former editor of Vanity Fair and he knows his stuff. Recently, he talked about their relationship and he suggested that maybe Meghan was taking advantage of Harry. He claimed that Meghan has been using Harry as a stepping stone to fame, power, and wealth. Well, yeah, you don't have to be a genius to figure that out. But now, a source is saying that Harry is sickened by these comments, and he has been hurt by rumors that he and Meghan are separating. The source claims that Harry feels upset by what Graydon said, because Carter is hugely respected within society circles. According to the source, when Graydon Carter weighs in on a topic like this, important people in the highest places listen. It's going to have a domino effect as far as the perceived narrative about their marriage and its long-term prospects goes. Now, it's true that Graydon is somebody that people listen to. He knows what he's talking about. He doesn't just make stuff up. The source went on to say that people may assume that Graydon has inside knowledge about any tension in their relationship instead of it being speculation. The source also says that Harry and Meghan are worried that now other critics are going to be talking about their relationship. What world have they been living in? Critics have been talking about their relationship since they got together. That comes along with the territory of being public figures, which, by the way, they very much still want to be. If they wanted to live private lives at this point, they should be doing that because, well, it's not like they've got any work coming their way. A public interest in them has dropped significantly. So if they really wanted to be ordinary people, now would be the time. But they don't. They want to see their names in the headlines. They want to be stars. This source spoke with Heat Magazine, and they also said their enemies inside the firm will be laughing. And they're also hitting back at divorce rumors, claiming they are categorically untrue. I don't think it's only their enemies inside the firm who are going to be laughing. I think many people are going to be laughing because, well, we like it when people get their just desserts, don't we? The reason people despise Meghan and Harry is because they're just so darn easy to despise and they're so difficult to like. I mean, seriously, what is there to like about them? The way they go on and on about family values while trashing their own families and throwing them under the bus and calling them racist? Or what about the way they claim to be eco-conscious and eco-warriors and fly around all the time in private jets while telling us that we need to do more to reduce our carbon footprint? I mean, what about them is likable? And it's not only that people wish them ill will. I think most people don't really care enough. It's the fact that whenever they're out and about together, Harry looks like he cannot wait to escape her. And she just looks like a lunatic. In spite of what they get their PR people to put out in the media about the state of their relationship, we have eyes, we have ears, we have common sense. We can see when a relationship is in trouble. It's pretty obvious, in fact. And the two of them are obviously no longer in love with each other. Now, were they ever truly in love? Absolutely not. For starters, as a malignant narcissist, Meghan Markle is not capable of real love. That would require a degree of empathy and selflessness that she simply doesn't possess. And as for Harry, I mean, he was head over heels in lust with her at one point in time. He fell in love with the stuff she showed him in the bedroom. But I don't believe that he has been in love with her for quite some time now, as is evidenced by the look on his face whenever they're together. 
I mean, they're acting like the comments made by Graydon Carter are somehow new, somehow a new revelation that nobody had ever heard before. It has been obvious from the beginning that Meghan is a gold digger. We all knew from the start, even Prince Philip tried to tell Harry, one steps out with actresses, one does not marry actresses. But did Harry listen to that good advice? Absolutely not. He was way too stubborn. And so now he's finding himself in a very difficult situation. But he's responsible for it. He's made his bed. He's got to lie on it. And he's going to have to find his own way out of this relationship. Meghan Markle also has a long history of using men to get where she wants to be in life. So her first or second husband, depending on who you ask Trevor, she clearly used him to get a foot in the door in Hollywood. She got that role on Suits, and then soon enough, when she no longer found him useful, she sent her wedding rings back in the mail, and that was how she broke up with him. Not even a phone call. I mean, not even a text message. How cold can she be? And then Corey, who she was with apparently when she and Harry got together or when they first met, she was just using for his connections, his social connections in Toronto. He was very well connected, and apparently it was through Corey that she met Marcus Anderson. And it was Marcus Anderson who got her all involved at Soho House, and it's thanks to her involvement in Soho House that now she is married to Harry in the first place. So when Graydon shared his opinion that Meghan is using Harry as a stepping stone, he was basing that opinion off verifiable facts. This is information that he's not making up. This is information that's out there for anybody to read. I'm sure most of you have heard the saying, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Well, see, that's the trouble with Meghan. She's already shown us who she really is, but she thinks that somehow she can go back after the fact and tell us that she really is this great and wonderful person and that we misunderstood her or rather the media misunderstood her. But we're not buying it. We're not that gullible. Well, this source, who is most likely Meghan Markle herself, I mean, let's get real. Anyway, the source went on to say it's humiliating for them and divorce is absolutely not an option. They have kids and despite everything, they really do love each other. They also said that Harry is incredibly sensitive about what Graydon said, and they said he finds it sickening that people believe that Meghan used him as a stepping stone. So I think now the only question I have is, was this source Meghan herself, or is Harry really that stupid? I mean, surely he's not. I know he is not the brightest crayon in the box, but at the same time, I do believe that even he is beginning to realize that he married a viper and he's got to get away. So I suspect this is Megan trying to really squeeze the vice even tighter by putting this stuff out, claiming that Harry is so disgusted by these comments as if they're not true. She's always trying to do that. She's trying to clean up these messes that she made by getting her PR people to push these puff pieces onto media outlets, making Megan seem like somebody she's not. But the public already has her number, and that's why I don't understand why does she keep trying? Why can't she just let it go? And all right, just for argument's sake, if Harry and Meghan really are so in love and their relationship is very strong, why are they so bothered by what some random critic says about them? He doesn't know them personally. It's like the couples on Facebook who profess their love to each other. They post all kinds of gushy stuff about how much they love their significant other, and then what, a week later, we hear they're getting divorced. This is exactly the same thing. If you really have a healthy relationship, if you really are in love, you don't need to broadcast it to the entire world. It's enough to just be in a healthy relationship. The fact that Harry requires outside approval of his relationship with Meghan tells me he knows on some level it is a very sick relationship indeed. And you, what do you think about the state of Meghan and Harry's relationship? Please let me know your opinion below in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please do like and share it with anybody else who would appreciate it too. And don't be afraid to click the subscribe button to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in, have a lovely weekend, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.